Another use of the puck transducer is in hull mounting in fiberglass boats, such as bass boats, speed boats, and even fiberglass canoes. All right, finally, got the transducer here. Hi folks, what I just got done doing is I, I wired this transducer cable from the console of the boat all the way alongside, all the way through back here. What we're doing today is we're actually going to install this in hull transducer on a glass bass boat. And in order to do so, we'll make sure that we get the transducer as low as possible and to the back as far as possible as well. And in order to do this, you know, this particular boat, there was a bunch of stuff we had to get out. Um, this oil reservoir, this charger, this whole plate was in the way. So I had to take it apart and move it. There will be other boats that'll be just fine that you might have easier access. But the first thing we got to do, we got to make sure that we clean the surface of the glass before we actually put this on. So now I'm gonna go down inside and try to get this area clean. I just happen to have a little Brillo pad that I got from Vexlar's transducer kit, Ace adhesive kit. So first I'm gonna go down and get busy and get dirty and get it all cleaned up. Okay, as you can see, we got a lot of hoses and wires down here. It's real critical that we take the time, effort, to clean this area up. And we want to make sure that we have no bubbles, no bumps. We're going to make sure that it's clean and smooth. If you don't, you're not going to get the best performance out of your transducer. So it's real important that we clean this up as good as possible. It needs to be flat and smooth and as far back and low in the boat as possible. And that looks like a really good smooth flat area. Now, not all boats, you might not have this difficulty, but, you know, like I said, it will be very beneficial to get this hard work done. Now, I'm going to go and get this alcohol swab to clean this area up. It's real important that we clean up the residue, any fiberglass that might be leaving on top there. One of the key aspects when mounting a transducer in hull, it's very important to take time for preparation. This particular boat took about 25 minutes. It might only take you five minutes on your boat. Every boat is different. What we're gonna do now is prepare the transducer because we just got done doing the bottom of the boat. So first, what we do is we take this Brillo pad and scuff the bottom of the transducer, just like so. Now, it's real critical that we clean up any of the debris with this alcohol swab, just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take this transducer epoxy made by Vexlar. It's a Kusli conductive epoxy. Very simple, very easy to install. All you have to do is take this apart, just like so. And it's a two-part. There's no mixing, but just mushing it together. Just like that. We want to stress that it's very important when you apply this that it's at least 60 degrees out. If not, it's not going to adhere to the bottom of the boat. Okay, it's warm. And I think we're ready to apply it to the transducer. All you need to do is take a pair of scissors and just cut the corner off. Like so. And then we just apply it to the transducer. Just like that. Now we're gonna have to try to wire it back through without any hitting any of the hoses and wires. Alright, here we go. You gotta make sure you get it out of the way of the hoses. Come around. Place it on the smooth part of the hull that we cleaned and prepared. And just hold it there. It's important to make small 
circular motion so you start seeing the epoxy come out and there it is right there and if you have any rocking at all the preparation work that you did wasn't good enough you have to go back sand it and smooth it out a little bit okay we're done it wasn't easy but it wasn't difficult either as long as you've got the instructions to the ACE adhesive you too can install the in-haul transducer give it a try